All right, we're back. So, we now head into uncharted territory. Because, as I mentioned in my previous stream, I did complete the first two chapters a while back. But, but now, now we're going in blind. So, let's start chapter three. Now, is this one going to be from another set of characters' point of view? Oh, the... Oh, the... the yeah, that guy with the hammer. Holy shit. Oh, we're now getting opening credits? So far, it's all black screen, so we can't see what's going on. It's probably not good, though. We outside for the first time. Oh, the, the head... The headless ghost kid. Ah, oh, shit. Hello, do you like scary movies? Huh? 
that's supposed to be Naomi? Oh, it is. It is. We are back to Naomi. Okay, this is getting a little effed up. Is this still... Oh, yeah, back... Back where Chapter 1 left off. What did you see? Her again. I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? Afflicted and possessed? As, as we've seen previously in some of the bad endings already. That's horrible! Vomiting again.
Oh, man. Oh, man, this poor thing is broke. Chapter 3. Oh! With you guys. You're doing great, Yuka. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. <laughs> I sense that other corporeal beings such as yourselves were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me and Yuka. Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki. Miss Yui, Shinohara. Simono. Right, and we all decided to do that fun little occult experiment with that paper doll. Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meaning anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. And that's a fate best avoided. Well... Hmm. Oni-chan. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. What do you mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entrance way or an emergency exit or roof access or something that leads outside. And if there is, you go straight home. No buts. Capiche? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go. Looking closely, there appear to be words written on it, but the letters are indistinct and seem to be changing from moment to moment as if in flux. Oh, is that is that the note that um that they left in the other chapter? Again, it's it's the same place but different. Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked, so there's no way to get to it. Newspaper article: Breaking news: Serial kid. Okay, 
I think this is... This is... What a horrible incident. I remember hearing about this from Shinazaki. During one of their candlelight vigils. I guess she did say it was a true story. There's a rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. child spirit? That red dress looks pretty old-fashioned. Big brother. It's okay. She's gone now. We'll be fine. Yuka, don't look. We we need I we're we're gonna need we're gonna need an Oni Chan counter for this chapter, aren't we? Corpse sprawled out on the ground, decomposing rapidly. It's clutching a letter in its hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue starts swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink, anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty, it's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroko Motomura from Amazaki West High, Class 2-4. Shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. Oh. <laughs> Book of Beetle Wings. Hmm. Death is blind. It comes for all souls, regardless of their worth or lack thereof. Oh boy, more victims' memoirs. This'll be fun. Otaki, Mitsuharu, I want to see you again. A ghost told me that you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my, my Math 1 class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse, even if I told her, though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. 
but if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you, and I'm going to find it. Hmm. Nothing else this way. <laughs> this chapter definitely needs an Onichan counter. How should I know? Let's try to be reassuring. <笑><笑> Nerves got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. Oh, that's that seems to be a bit of an understatement right now. We need to find her as soon as we can. Okay, did anything open up in the classroom? Oh, we're moving our own. Is it just me, or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it. Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. Oh, this... We got this puzzle again. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here for a second? Huh? Oh, Nichen, no, don't leave me. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh, I got it. Here we go. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. Y'all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a sec, Oni-chan. Hmm, what's up? Senate beads. Mm. Okay. Ah. The power of caramel. So is this going to be like... Is this going to be like the power stone in the last chapter? 
It'll save us from one fatal hit. Should we? If we do... If we do... Hmm. Okay, it doesn't... It doesn't look like it locks us out of any... anything at the moment but still it's a secret <laughs> okay. Is oh. How convenient. Still. There are skeletal remains of a young girl sprawled out across the ground. Looking closely, she seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yosuke. Yosuke, I'm so sorry. If only had I hadn't discovered that stupid charm. Hmm. What does that mean? Well, I don't see the save point here that was... It was there prior, so I'm gonna run back and use the one in this room. After that lengthy bit of dialogue, just in case. the final bell. You missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. Oh no, there's Ghost Kid again. Now, do we get another do we get another bad end if we look at, at Ghost Kid again? Let me see. I think so. Victim's Memoir, two of five. I'm so cold. 
I feel like the heat is just oozing on my body bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there, there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. A heavy cabinet's collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Why you kill me? You pay! Dirty husk left behind by the soul. Filthy, disgusting carbon dust. Repulsive bag of meat and tissue. Yet one must scrub and clean it well. Present it at the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth watch over us always. Nice! Infirmary's locked. Oh! The door seems affixed to the wall like a model. It can't be opened. Now, did... We didn't... Mm, hold up. Okay. Let me run back here first. I, th I thought I missed a step, but that was why I kept on going, but I think there's... Let's just go ahead and initiate the first bad ending. Staring right into my eyes. I can't move. My body, my legs, they're moving on their own. Yuka's bottle of scented beads fell out of Satoshi's pockets onto one of the floor beams. Can move again. Okay. Okay, that does. Again, like the Power Stone in the last chapter, I think it does save us once. Uh, 
られてしまった<笑>そんなのどうでもいいあー分かったごめんなさあ鼻を拭きな<笑> Now if we return and come back will we be back? No he's oh maybe Maybe we do have to refuse the... Maybe we do have to refuse the charm the first time. Which means I'll have to read to at least, at least some portion of this. Not... Not too much of it, I think. and still read these. Oh, uh, wait. Is that, that's written backwards, isn't it? School this about more learn, wait, every, shelf of every cabinet you must turn every page and and rifle through if you wish to learn more about this school who who've become Trapped within these walls, many messages have been left behind by the others. Free of the curse, may use their words as a guide to help break okay I think I kind of get the the gist of that oh yeah don't look right at him yeah not today kid maybe maybe some other time Skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is a student ID card. St. Saint Marian University High School, Class 2-1, Megumi Sugi. Some crown. See it. 
Unknown key. What have we here? Okay. Wait. どうしたそこ川屋って書いてあるから行ってこいよゆかちなみにどっちだ。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか。ゆか
There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both of its blades covered liberally in blood. Ugh. Well, you know, the, the killer from, from the, uh, the original incident used a pair of scissors, right? There are countless old expired medicine bottles on the shelves with faded yellow labels. Oh. Um. Insist, I guess. お前大丈夫だ。絶対に脱出するぞ。ナオミは良識たち。仲間と合流できれば、きっと何かいい方法が見つかるさ。なんとかなるさ。心配するな。うん。お兄ちゃんの言うことだもん。ゆか。ゆか。The law work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically just told her we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words. Then is paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going. To keep living. What? Is that? All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. ここは。うん。頭が割れそうだ。おお、<笑> Is that the... しまった。うとうとしてしまったか。何やってんだ俺。本当に寝てどうするんだよ。お兄ちゃん。No, it's not.
うちに帰ったらコンペイトを買ってやるから。<笑>ああこの前食べたがってたろ我慢するよし偉いぞ Food gets her every time <笑> I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her company. Shinohara or anyone, really. She may be strong willed, but she loses heart really quickly if there's no one there to keep her grounded. Yeah, so we've seen. Come on, Yuka, let's go. You can stand, right? Uh huh. I'm okay now. You get tired again, we can always come back. Okay. Um, hello. Section of old newspaper on the floor. Heavenly Post, four children abducted and killed, follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. Okay, did we... we We read this before, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of these children, one was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blank, but somehow blank. The he headmaster, is that what it says? Something blank, blank, and the rest of it we can't read. The newspaper's torn at this point. The bottom half of the article's missing. Oni-chan, the children in this picture. Yeah, that's the girl in the red dress. Hmm. And that boy wearing shorts. He's the one we saw earlier. Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose... Spread of the curse, gathering, children with no tongues, girl with top of head missing, girl in red dress. Oh, wait, the, the one kid, the yeah, the kid we passed before, kind of, his speech was kind of slurred. Was that because he was missing his tongue? Child victim, blank, grudge, gave shape to school building, something escaped. Okay, I don't know what that part's about. Um, I can't take this anymore. That was Shinazaki's voice. Come on, Yuka, let's go. Okay. What is it? The floor is stained with the sticky residues of something, or more likely someone, were dragged down the hall. Oh, is that where they... Oh, no. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. There... Oh, there's the nail puller. Okay. Is this where we find the... Uh... Oh, we... Um, there's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet. And there's no indication as to how it got there. Ah, but it's kind of like, again, where, th where the one girl was, was like splatted against the, against the wall there. Science lab. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe we can use the nail puller over at the, uh, the boys' bathroom. Yeah.
there are no stalls. Weird. I mean, unless um, it might it might require a little uh, finagering to go in what for a girl to go in one of the urinals. I don't. I don't know how that would work though. So what now? Do you have to go really bad? Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. Well, I mean... Mm. It's not as if you're... Really... Hell, even if, if you go on the floor in a dilapidated place like this, it's not like it's gonna... Matter that much. <laughs> Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go after all. Yeah, no kidding. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Oh, this is the same warning that we got as... For the, um, for the memoirs from the previous chapter. Beware the messages of the dead. There can be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your, your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Right. Like this one. Mitsuharu. Really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may figure out a way of getting in contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches, but it's not just the physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk, ask him how he's been and what he plans to do after school. Those simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now, what I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. <laughs> Shit. Well, now what? Still can't do anything in here. Huh? Hello? It sounds like a camera. Oh, now the... Now the body's there. Moishige, you're okay. Are you an expert on that, Morishige? At any rate, I'm, a, I'm glad you're alright. 
Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke in here a short while ago, so I haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. No, sorry. Isn't... isn't... Mm. If... if what we saw in the last chapter is an indication... Isn't that supposed to be the remains of Mayu? I'm certain Suzumona must be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No, if we split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So, I'm gonna take another look around the building by myself. Alright, then how about we des designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same. Sound good? Uh, a little bit more than that, I think. Yeah, yeah, it did see. Was was he taking pictures of the uh, of the uh, the remains there? Alright, um, I feel like we haven't made much progress, but I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a break for a few minutes, and when I come back, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep exploring chapter three, so I'll see you guys in just a few minutes.